Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bussy Lag. Travis Harris, which is a great name, says, Digital watches making a comeback this season. Yesterday's future is today's vintage, say fashion designers. I have no idea what he's done about. Anyway. Nobody's made me a burrito cart. Epic fail on the burrito front, I'm afraid. If anybody knows any modellers who would like to make me a burrito cart, I'd be really grateful. I'm just wondering what this is pulsing away at me like a big pulsy thing. Not enough educated workers, followed immediately by abandoned. Oh dear. You know what that means, don't you? Any excuse. I know I don't have to do that, I just enjoy it. So yeah, no burritos. Oh, plenty of donuts. Some burgers. That sort of thing. But ultimately, not what I really want. <clears throat> Anyhow, commercial is actually doing incredibly well, which is intriguing because in previous attempts at this, commercial hasn't done well at all. Why is there a little red blob? Oh, it's my water pentagon area. I still don't know what the little red blob means, though. No, no something. No, woo! Fireworks! But no fanfare. I find that very disappointing. I'm going to have to make my own fanfare. Da, 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 da. That's my big town fanfare right there. Anyway, 8,000 population, new areas, taxation policies, <laughs> tax everything. Could have a metro. We've got level five unique buildings. I must look into that. Education boost, all sorts of tax related things. High density commercial zone, hello. University. Incineration plant. This is really exciting. We could have the Statue of Liberty. That's interesting, actually. That is interesting. The mayor has worked tirelessly, and now the regional government has passed the bill that allows for larger city territory. More water pentagons. That's brilliant. That's very cool. The one thing about this, and I know that I'm endlessly comparing this game to SimCity, but I love my touristy, commercially zones. How do I get one of those? Are there hotels and stuff? Can I attract people in and massive hotels start being built? I'm not sure. I don't know. I didn't read the instructions. I have noticed we have a garbage issue over here. Garbage has piled up at the Water Pentagon High School. This is a problem. Gonna have to look into this. I did notice incineration plant was on the list. Incineration plant. That's quite a lot of capacity. Why not burn garbage and turn it into electricity? Well, exactly. This is the thing, isn't it? I can afford that. That looks like a good thing to have. But where is it going to go? Because no doubt it produces pollution of some description, does it not? I'm assuming. Anyway. So, what I need to look at is wind. I think. Does this give you wind direction, or does it just inform you of the potential presence of wind? It makes your city look very classy, not going to lie, but I'm not sure it doesn't, does it? So, hmm, okay. We have a power issue as well. I need to get this incinerator in, because I need the extra power and less garbage. I think the only place it can go, I'm afraid, chaps, is the Happy Forest. I'm really sorry about that, but... Uh there it is. Making the happy forest even happier. So presumably then, I could start emptying these. Oh, that one is being emptied. I'm not quite sure where that's being emptied. Oh, there we go. Empty those. Multiple problems. <laughs> Multiple problems with the landfill site. That's not worrying in the slightest, is it? But if I empty it all into here, <laughs> I can cause an absolutely massive pileup. That's amusing me already. You lazy swines, could you not just put it in bags and walk along with it? It's garbage truck gridlock. Oh, I love it. Is it working? That's the question. That's what I want to know here. Open the budget panel, relocate the building. Oh, something alongside it's decided to redevelop. The ice cube factory. Oh my god. It's the grumpiest ice cube factory on earth. Oh, we're going to have to rename that. That is the Grumpy Cat Ice Cube Factory, is it not? 
not even operating. Probably because nobody can get into it because the street just has enormous numbers of garbage vans. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Anyway, power output, 12 milliwatts. Has that given you lot enough power? I hope it has. You could always put in another spinny thing in the river. Power. Oh, look, it's just taking it over the line. Look at that. Just. Just. Where are all the garbage trucks and why is no one picking up our trash? I have no idea, Tony Lewis, I'm afraid. Um, is it because they're all feeding the incineration plant? Is that what it is? I'm not actually sure. Why would they do that, though? That would be really silly, wouldn't it? Oh, dear. Surely more garbage-related things equals... Oh, I don't know. I'll stop emptying that one and maybe the garbage trucks will go and pick up stuff instead. I don't know. I still don't like that being there. If I destroy it, though, is it going to cause the most epic pollution ever? There's only one way to find out. Building is not empty. Okay, fair enough. Can't just blow it up in a haze of <laughs> rubbish flying everywhere. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? You see, the problem is, I need the building to be empty. Can I close it so that they don't use it? I can turn it off. Multiple problems. But that's just see how much happy that created there. If I turn it off, will it continue emptying? Check out my multiple problems. Oh, our van's turned up. Building is set to empty its content and therefore not working. Building is closed and therefore not working. That doesn't quite answer my question, does it? We'll come back to that in a mo and see whether it's actually doing what it should be doing. Bet it isn't. In the meantime, in the Happy Forest. The incineration plant does seem to be doing its job. I don't even know. I might just leave the rubbish to do whatever it wants. Whatever it is that I've done, oh dear. There's an issue here, isn't there? Um, mm. Whatever it is that I've done, everybody suddenly wants to live here, which is great and everything. But I'm not quite sure now. Do these have garbage trucks? They do. Perhaps I should have another solar civic amenity site instead of a juice press. It's a very happy juice press. I might rename that. Very happy juice press. Have you noticed that you can now zone high density commercials? I so have. I have noticed, but that's not my problem. My problem is this. My problem is garbage hell. That's not emptying, is it? Oh, let's just run it. Oh, I don't even know. Is everybody's unhappy now? I wanted to empty that. And have... Um, stop harassing me. <laughs> I wanted to empty that. And have all my garbage operations taking place in the Happy Forest, but that's not quite what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. I might well, I'm sort of tempted to, to, to ignore this, not gonna lie. Um, garbage has indeed piled up. Don't really know why. Don't really know what to do about it. Stop harassing me about new zones. I have issues here. I'm thinking I need to demolish the happy juice press. For another solar civic amenity site, you see. Hmm. Would that release more garbage vans into the general vicinity? That's the thing. Because I'm not noticing that these are zoned in any way. It's not going landfill site covers this area. Is it? Perhaps it is, and I just haven't noticed. Oh, it does. Oh, does it? That would be really annoying. Hmm. Hmm. So what I'd have to do then is like put a solar civic community site potentially here. That would be okay. I could live with that. And I could close that off. Or another incinerator. Oh, I could put another incinerator on it. Oh, right, that's a better idea. Incinerator there, which will really hack off the industrial, but frankly, I'm not too worried about that. And turn that off and empty it so that the empty goes into there. Would that work? I sort of need a garbage flow screen, don't I, to show me where the garbage is found here. I'm not convinced. I think that has to be on for it to be empty. So, if you take all the stuff from there and put it there, and then I can get rid of that, 
And we can stop having purple grass, because I don't understand purple grass. I understand if I could, like, look at pollution, like land pollution, and it's, like, awful. Like that. But what I don't understand is why it is that it shows up as purple. Because I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen purple grass. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. I do know that garbage reserves are starting to go into the incineration plant, so I'm going to assume that that is, in fact, working. You see, the problem, I think, is that garbage trucks are still bringing garbage. But I don't want them to do that. I want them to not, not do that at all. But if I turn it off... This is multiple problems! Oh, I don't know. I need you, I need you to empty so I can get rid of you. Put a big sign that says stop, stop bringing garbage here now. Hmm, not sure. Really not sure. Hacking everybody in the process. Uh, sorry, I'll try that again. Hacking everybody off in the process of finding out. However, perhaps I should distract them with something down here. Like a high density commercial zone. That would be cool. I kind of feel like I need a big park here. Or something. Maybe the Statue of Liberty. That would that would do it. That would do it. That would do it. Yes, the Statue of Liberty would definitely do it. There is a thought. Unique buildings. Oh, hello. Statue of Wealth. Statue of Shopping. <gasps> I didn't know that existed. Fountain of Life and Death. I don't know what that is. What's that? Expo Center. Oh, there's a thought. <gasps> What's that? Hotel! Right, now we're talking. And an opera house as well. But now we're talking. Hotel, though. Hotel, that's what I'm after. That, yes, that. How much money do I need? Loads. That's okay, though. Let's make loads of money. Let's just accelerate time. I can make loads of money. I can hotel it. Ding, 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 ding. Right, what sort of a road would you need outside an executive hotel? A six-lane road with decorative trees, I reckon. Long, straight, straight. That's not straight. That's sort of straight. Straight road. Check it out. Check it out. You see, posh road. Whoop! Hot dog land. Posh road. At least I think that was hot dogs. It could have been bugs. Bug spray van. Being mistaken for a hot dog van. That would not end well. But, uh, but anyway. Yeah, executive hotel. Here. Maybe I could have an opera house next to it. Oh, no, now we're talking. My natural instinct to appeal to the posh people is in force right now. But I'm not making any money, am I? So maybe I need to add some less posh people. I have a feeling that my incinerators are probably costing me quite a lot of money. What I need to do, I reckon, is put some rooms in here. I know I've got metro stations at the moment. Not interested. Roads. Roads, that's what I'm interested in. Roads. Like that. Yeah. That's really annoyed some people. Roads. Space already occupied by what? Oh, a basketball court. Oh. Right. right. Fill in the gaps like so. We got water. No, of course you haven't. You still haven't, actually. That was the worst bit of water pipage ever. There we go. Yeah, right, and you can pay me all of your money. I've just had a thought, actually. Pay me all of your money. Tax. Tax. Tax policies. How do I tax everybody massively? Policies. Economy. Policies. Taxation. Tax raise for low-density residential housing. What do you reckon? It's only 2%. I could offer tax relief to commercial, and then it would go mental, essentially. There's a thought. Um, anyway... Have heavy traffic ban. Yeah, I might have a think about that. It's just I might end up with people moving out, or indeed I could. Hmm. Okay. Or they might, or they might end up on fire. That's equally likely. That's quite a big house. <laughs> My new building is a hospital. 
I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to need it, aren't we? Uh, the thing is, though, I want an expo centre. I'm not going to lie. Not thought this through in terms of the finances of the expo centre or the hotel. Um, the hotel cost upkeep. The upkeep would halve my tax income, but it would be a hotel. William Smithson says mail order babies available. Starting to think that I might well need a hospital. These people are mad. 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 Madness. Anyway, what's making you mad? That's not filled in. Basketball court could come to grief here. Unless I can do that, but I can. Fill in your gaps. There we go. Are we appropriately watered? Just for once, yes we are. Got a university as well. Maybe that would make people slightly less thick and strange, on the other hand. Maybe it wouldn't. Has that pushed my tax dollars up any? Just a little tiny bit, maybe. Maybe I could start moving some commercial in. In anticipation of the awesome executive hotel that I'd like to win. That's interesting. Has it got its own road? Executive hotel, have you got enough road? Have you got your own road? I just want you even more now. That is the best thing ever, isn't it? High density commercial buildings of department stores and supermarkets that offer citizens a wide variety of spending possibilities. How could I not put that opposite the hotel? Check that out. And then we have a gap here. You'll note. I suppose I'll just fill that, I'll just fill that in like that. So that something moves in. What do you reckon? Hmm? Yeah, do you want to do something? No? That's quite a cool little cafe thing you've got going on there. Of course, it says it's a clothing store. Of course it does. Who should I call if no one shows to pick up the dead? Uh-oh. Oh, no. And I've got a new building called the Garbage Destroyer. Right. Too many options. I've got option paralysis now because I want a hospital and I want a garbage destroyer and I want a cemetery and I'm not saying that a cemetery and a garbage destroyer are remotely alike. But oddly they are. But yeah, I probably do need another cemetery in fairness. Where am I going to put that? Put it down here so that you can all live next to sort of parky thing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, check out the happy. Well, I'm glad to be of service. That did fit rather nicely on that junction, didn't it? Look. It's not even wonky like the other one. Not much, anyway. It's an intriguing little building there. Why have you got such a massive front garden? A little strange. Anyway. Huh. Did you hear the death knell, then? Says it all, really, doesn't it? But it's made everybody very happy over here. Well, I can't argue with that. My tax dollars are going up. They are going up. Just not quite as much as I would like them to. I'm just wondering whether to be kind and give these people a little route through to work here. I'm not really into being kind. I'm amused by these two completely copying each other. Garnets. And the lilacs. Posh people. Come up with your own idea for a house. Pathetic. Completely pathetic. Anyway. Have I got the money for a hotel yet? Ooh, lots of people trying, trying, and failing. There we go. I'm very sorry about that. Now give me all your money. What have they turned into? An oct, an octopus shop. Of course. Of course. Of course. There's an octopus shop. And a. Uh, a, a top hat shop. Is that for the posh people? Yeah. And a bowling alley that says it's the All The Things Superstore. I heartily approve of the All The Things Superstore. It's got a bowling alley at the top of it. Seriously, the commercial in this game is just messed up. It's also on fire. That's not so good, is it? It's not a great start. But at least we got to you quickly. You're welcome. <clears throat> anyway, executive hotel-wise, where are we? No, still can't afford it. Just take a load out. 
is that cheating? It so is. Oh, but look, I could take all the money. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I want my hotel. Executive hotel. But space already occupied. Problem. Slow time down. Slow it down. Slow it. I'm going to have to demolish something here because it actually has got its own road. Sorry, people. I know that we had a little agreement, but we don't have one anymore. Building must be played ro placed roadside. You've just told me... Th oh, you told me it doesn't fit... Oh, okay. da, da, damn it, I demolished the road and I shouldn't have done. Shall we put the road back? <sighs> I can't even remember what kind of road it was. I think it was that one. I'm so sorry, commercial. I'm really, really sorry about that mistake. I'm not sorry at all. Maybe they'll build something a bit more worthy now. Okay, let's try that again. I stupidly thought that because you had your own road... Oh, yeah. I feel the same way. That is awesome. It's got a little sort of swimming pool on the roof there. Which is good. Let's have a look. A tall five-star luxury hotel with magnificent views. Get out of my way, Emma Chapman. Satisfies even the wealthiest guests. Wealthy guests! Wealth! Did you hear that? Wealth! That's what I want. All the wealth. All the money. All of it. Let's have a look. Levels? I don't know what levels is. Oh, higher level buildings pay more taxes. That's something that I'm interested in. Right, a little house with a star on it. That's what I need to know. Make sure that people in the city are educated. And that you have big hotels. Right, I don't fully understand this, but my residents seem to be largely kind of educated. My commercial seems to be very educated. I don't have any offices. Industrial... We're not completely thick. That's good though, isn't it? Because that means that they won't start complaining about things, I imagine. Because they won't even notice that they're there. Levels, my new best friend. Good, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Why have I got a gap? Fill any gaps. Oh, I can do all this now. All of it. Yeah. Advance the time. Just advance it. And I accelerate it. Check it out. I'm going to flatten some of this later because no doubt a hotel needs touristy type things. Like an opera house. And a park. Oh, park. Parks. Parks next to the hotel. Park with trees. Oh, plaza. Plaza next to the hotel. Yes. Yes. Where? There. There. Oh, everybody is so happy now and so am I. Look at that. That's worked. Got competing octopus shops now. That's a little worrying. I don't want some sort of disaster involving octopi. Even though everybody knows that the plural of octopus is, in fact, octopuses. But anyway, I'm hearing loads and loads and loads of dings. Just dinging all the things and making loads of money. Good. So, thinking more about people dying and stuff. Hospital. How much? 65,000. Well, I'm not too far off that. I have a feeling if I put a hospital in around here somewhere, they'd be really, really pleased. What is... Th what was this? Flaming ash pile. Fruit for all has burned down. The moral of this story is that fruit is quite flammable. Flammable fruit. That's a worrying development, isn't it? Anyway, garbage-wise, are we alright? <laughs> this is just horrendous, isn't it? What does that say? 100% full. Oh, empty then. Empty. Empty to the incineration plant, which is conveniently across the road. Is this going to cause chaos? If you are indeed emptying, where are you emptying it to? Because I, I would ideally like you to empty it into a place that can burn it. I'm not sure about this garbage management thing. I don't think I've really got it. If you've got it, let me know. I don't want that to be... Oh, we're down to 22% now, so that, that is working at least. Good. Well, the forest friend zone has got it. So that's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay as well. That is so okay. I could have matching glasses, I could have another one. Because frankly, that's rubbish. Home of the stuff store, now now we're talking. This is my kind of thing, isn't it? All the things, home of the stuff. I have a feeling that whoever's been making this game 
who's been listening to me and going, Jenny's got some really good ideas for commercial buildings. I've got an even better one, and it is a burrito cart. Seriously, I mean this. If any modellers are out there and can make me a burrito van, I've got pictures. All I need you to do is turn the picture into a thing that I can put in the game. You'd be forever immortalised in the videos of the Gameplay Jenny channel. Consider it. It's an offer, you know. Um, I have noticed, actually, the water pentagon is getting a little busy. I think that's good. I'm more worried about the sort of traffic issues, but anyway. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy. Well, I'm very happy. Let's just let's look down the street from the perspective of happy. Oh, except I can't actually see the hotel. I gather there is a way of walking down streets properly. I will investigate. And then we can all walk down here and feel happy. Oh, you see, somebody say thank you for an amazing vacation, so we must be luring the tourists in. All one of two of them. <laughs> two? Two? Ah, uh, right, I'm going to have to think of ways to get people in, aren't I? I wonder how many it can hold. But it's thousands. Thousands of them. Tourists. Thousands of them. Hmm. There's a thought. I'm thinking. Op house. I think that's what I need to attract people in. Perhaps a Statue of Liberty. Anyway, whatever the case, I definitely need more things that are touristy. Like this big park that I could just put here. Spend all my money on. But that does look cool now. That looks very cool indeed. I don't know what that means, Fountain of Life and Death. But in any event, I'm sure that people will start turning up and staying in my hotel soon. There we go. Visitors last week, 11. But tourists, 3. You're right, actually. That is distinctly unimpressive, isn't it? Um, come back in the next episode when I will be luring all of the tourists into my Fountain of Life, <laughs> but probably death. Gameplay Jenny